Okay, guys. It's Tuesday, January January fourth. I guess no, it's third. January third today. Uh, just a quick response video uh, to Kevin Nelson one hundred and one. I did uh, put a comment on there as well on his comment, but um, he wanted to know what model number this was. The snowblower attachment is, and let's see if we can get it, 15, 169-1521, that's horrible, horrible shot, oh uh, boy, well, I guess we're not going to focus, anyway, it's 169-1521, um, and again, the snowblower attachment, the head, is pretty interchangeable. I mean, here's another one that's the same, but that one's 169403. Here's another one. The model number is scratched off of that one, so I don't know uh, what that one is. Um, but it's basically the same. It could be a 1521. I'm not sure. And then here's a shot of the hitch. Um, that would go on any of the 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 Regent, RT, and LTs, and um, GTs. <clears throat> so that's what uh, what that is. Again, for Kevin Nelson 101. Um, and then a quick little shot of the 4212 in winter get up got the chains on finally and the lovely uh, zip ties to uh, hold them in place there um, I'm horrible with chains don't know how to put them on properly I guess because <clears throat> they're not so good this side does look a little better but still got a couple zip ties holding it um, and then here's the weight on the back I don't know that's like a 40 or 50 pound weight um, I actually have two of those. I just couldn't find the other one right off hand tonight. They just hang off the back here like that. <clears throat> uh, let's see, what else? What else is going on here? Um, I picked up um, this snowblower with some wheel weights. Um, some chains, and I got this um, cab. Uh, it supposedly fits a 4212, um, so we'll see. I haven't tried that yet. Um, <clears throat> so I picked that up the other day, and there's the chains. So it'll be nice. It'll be curious to see how that works. Uh, it doesn't have a top on it. As you can see it's got the brackets here. Where you can put uh, a top on it, or I had a top on it one time, so I might have to figure something out there. At least it'll block me from the wind, uh, even without the top, to some degree. I don't know if I'm going to put it on or not. Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> Let's see, what else? Um, the air compressor. I put the, um, where is that stuff at? I put this stuff on. I know. Horrible camera work. Sorry, guys. The DevCon metal patch and fill. Wow. Horrible camera work. Sorry. Anyway, I put this stuff on several applications. Let's see if we can get a shot here. Several applications into there. Caked it up pretty good. I haven't got it to 100 pounds of pressure yet. I tried after the after one application. I tried to get it to uh, up to 100 pounds, and it uh, it blew right through it. I've got it to 60 pounds, and it's been fine. So I'm going to try not to push it and just kind of go from there. So hopefully it'll harden up and hold. Otherwise, I guess I'll have to weld it this summer at my dad's house. Well, I won't weld it. He will. Um, I think that's about it. 
If you guys um, have any comments for me, feel free. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, I want to see as how many thumbs downs I can get. I want to get as many as I can. So put a thumbs down if you uh, if you hate the video or if you like it. Just want to see how many I get. Um, um, nobody's probably watching this far anyway, but figured I'd mention that. Um, and how many ums? Can you count how many ums I have in a video? Probably a lot. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. That about covers it for today. Thanks. Bye.